Hi arty aliens and welcome. I'm Paul Yateman. I draw stuff. What that means is for the month of May 2021 I did what I call the Tim Burton Challenge where I drew a whole bunch of stuff in a Burton-esque style. Uh, the idea here wasn't to draw Tim Burton stuff again, it was to primarily do my own thing in his style. So with the exception of day one, that's pretty much what I did. So what I'm going to do is open up the scanned in images in date sequence and maybe give, it, give a quick rundown of each as I go through them. So on day one, uh, I did these things. This here and this here is from a couple of stuffed toys I have. That was made up from memory, that was made up from memory. Uh, the next day, and what happens for quite a few of these days is I'll do a sketch in my sketch pad in Biro on one day, and then the next day I'll do something on brown craft paper, which leads me into day three. Here's where we get a chook and something that looks a bit like Robert Smith, I thought. Uh, I should also say, before I did the colouring in, I tended the scan in the line art as well. So the next day, day four, we did some C3PO. Why? Because day four is May the 4th be with you day. Here's the sketching which led into this. And then the next day, I did a skull and I coloured it in. And then I played around with some Photoshop which led to this. Next day was based on a drawing I did in the bath on my waterproof sketch pad, which is this one. That led to this. And then with some photo manipulation, it led to this. And then I decided to do some kitty cats. So we have this cat done here. And then on the same day, I produced that, which I coloured in to this. If I chopped it out in Photoshop, I modified a little bit, I'd get this. Then I moved into some horses, so a hard life horse wearing a um, rug which I made to be sort of a bondage style. So here it is just on the, the craft sketch pad and here again it is highlighted a little bit in Photoshop. And then uh, because what I did in my manga challenge month was a couple of self portraits, I figured I'd try that in the Tim Burton style as well. So originally I did this one here, which I then coloured in the next day in Photoshop. And then I had another go with a slightly different version, which is this one here, which goes to this one here. And then what I did was I played around a little bit with um, the facial expressions. So we have standard, stick and tongue out, smiling, maybe saying hoy or speaking, and maybe speaking again. Uh, I did try printing out one of these on magnetic paper and sticking it to my fridge, which is what we see here. And the next day, I moved on to a Geigerish Tim Burton, which is this chest burster. After scanning it in and adjusting the colours a little bit, we have this one here. I decided to have a go at some sort of Ouroboros based on the sandworms that Burton does. So we have this, and when I transferred that or redid it on craft paper, I get this. Colour it in, I get this. Play around the Photoshop a little bit, and we get this one. Then I did some um, viewing of Tim Burton movies. This is all sketching I did during Frank and Weenie. And I, just, I decided to explore this girl more, which is... You don't see that in the movie. That's because it's an amalgamation of quite a few different characters. So one of these things is if you're going to try to emulate someone's style, you take aspects of their design and apply it to your own work. So I wound up drawing this which coloured in, it looks like that. And then if I was going to play around in Photoshop, we'd get something like that. Just brighten up a little bit. 
the next day I played around with a character called Chode from a CGI program called Tripping a Rift, which is this thing. Uh, interesting with my sketching here, I've done a few different egg leg and hand designs actually applied to the character. In the end, I just settled on a more slug-like aspect. No arms, no legs. And then after colouring it in, we have this one, which I'm actually a fan of. Uh, I did Photoshop him a little bit, just led to that. All that was was just chopping the back out. Uh, I've moved back to drawing kitty cats. So we have day 21, uh, reimagining the brothel from Beetlejuice as maybe a cat house. Uh, the next day, again, more sketch pad biro. And then what I did on the day following that was actually sketch it out on craft pad, which led to this. And then when I coloured it in, we get this little kitty checking out the whiskers hissing booth. Cats, cats, cats. I thought it was a nice touch to do some um, a laser pointer and some fish toy, oh, sorry, some sort of cat toys hanging off the building. Uh, the following day was some more sketching exploration. So. Uh, a shark thing, which uh, I think I did something very similar to this on day two, seeing maybe what Eon Flux would look like as a Burton S character, and some Plague Doctors, and actually went with Plague Doctors for the next day, which is these on the craft paper, applying colour, and then playing around in Photoshop, I decided to make one go, hey, nice hat. And the next day, uh, we have another skull, very similar to day five, or at least based off the original drawing, which I based day five off. So if you remember, you probably don't, so here it is. There's day five. That was based off a drawing which looked more like this top one here. And then when I coloured in, it was this. Um, the way I got these scales was I applied a, a lizard photograph I have to the back. Uh, the next day I played around with some aliens I'd previously drawn, which led to this sketch here, and then when I coloured them in, we have this. Uh, the next day it was again based on an old drawing I've done, which was this slug creaturey thing, and when I coloured it in, resulted in this little uh, critter. And then the final day of my Tim Burton challenge again I based it off previous works I've done. So here's a, li a little fish monster creature thing being chased by a bigger sea monster. And then when I coloured it in I got this and here I did some um, photo manipulation uh, because you're in the ocean what would it look like with a blue background and also uh, the next one here, I put a photograph of a fish tank I took into the background, colour adjusted it, and found that these blues and oranges, they went nicely with the, the main um, thing. The main image. So yeah, that is my Tim Burton challenge for the month of May 2021. So, if you found this interesting, informative, entertaining, you got inspiration for your own sketchbook, subscribe, like, and share far and wide. Until next time, you have been watching Drawing Stuff, or the results of Drawing Stuff, with me, Paul Yateman. Ciao, take care, and happy drawing.